Right. And this competition has caught my eye. The competition uh, is is to name New Zealand's top office dog. It's now in its ninth year, and entries are open at nztopdog.co.nz. Uh, Peter Cristani from Frog Recruitment, uh, who's behind the competition, is on the phone. Good morning, Peter. How are you this morning? Good morning, Martin. I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, yeah, great. Well, it's Friday. How could you not be good? Hey, eh? Friday's got exactly. a special feel to it. Hey, <laughs> how common is it uh, that workplaces allow dogs to come to work these days? Well, it's getting more common. Um, we've done some research and, and polled some of our um, uh, clients and um, employees, mm. and we surveyed 450 employees who were allowed to work from home. 60% said that they were more likely to work from home because their dog is at home. <laughs> and <laughs> I know. And 72% of people said that the benefits of having a dog at work outweigh the negatives. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of people. And I did some research, Martin, and we have 850,000 dogs in New Zealand. Goodness me. It's that's a huge, yeah. That's a huge amount, isn't it? So, as a yeah. workplace, you know, how accommodating are workplaces these days for dogs? Has it changed? How far have we, we come to make the pooches feel welcome? Well, good question. I think that's, that can be uh, very specific around the individual workplace. It's a lot more common. Like in our office, we're on the third floor um, of a five-story building right. in Wellington, and uh, we've got there's at least three dogs that I see coming into the building. Um, I've got a dog and he comes in occasionally as well. Nice. And I call him Chairman of the Board, B-O-R-E-D, because <laughs> he gets bored, he goes to the front door and bashes on it and says, someone take me out for a walk, so we have to take him out, which is great. Fantastic. Is being able to bring your dog to work a big factor for people looking when they're finding new jobs, maybe? Because obviously you in recruitment, you, you possibly would know whether you know that's a deal breaker or not. Uh, we really don't see that as part of the requirements, no. but I think it shows if you do have a dog-friendly environment that you are a, an employer that's open to helping to make it a good work environment. Mm. You know, people, where there are dogs in the work environment, and it tends to promote better collaboration, really good work-life balance and I think that's one of the things, you know, if you bring a dog in, it means that you're probably a good person and that... You know, yeah. I totally <laughs> agree with you, absolutely. I wish I could bring a dog, you know, I, w I don't have a, car a dog currently, I lost my dog a little while ago, but um, if I could bring it into the studio, I would, and I think these guys would be great. Uh, Ernie uh, is a corgi that comes into our Breeze headquarters uh, on nearly a daily basis, and so yeah. we are dog-friendly around these parts. Um, what can you tell us about previous winners of the competition? Who's won this over the last few years? Um, oh, so we had a terrier called... Um, who was down in Dunedin and worked in a um, works in an early childhood education place. We had 400 pooches last year entered into the competition. One of my favourites was the dog called Wink, who's a one-eyed dog down in Invercargill. Yeah, I know. And he's working, so he's a one-eyed conservation dog, and he is trained to detect Spartina grass, which is a noxious weed. Wow. And he's also the only velvet leaf detector dog in New Zealand. Now, I don't know what that means, but uh, <laughs> I haven't, haven't looked at it. He's a rabbit detector dog, so he's got one eye, wow. and he does a wonderful job. So Classic. The, the competition's open from... Um, it closes on the 9th of August and we'll announce the winner on the 30th of August. So it's a competition we just love. Oh, it sounds amazing. Any tips for a successful entry, Peter? Oh, look, lots of, lots of personality. Tell us about what you, what's so good about your dog. Show us pictures of the environment and the team and... Uh, Happy pictures are always really good. No, I Martin, we always like people e giving yeah. your dog a cuddle. Oh, absolutely. Everyone likes doggo, doggo um, photos as well. So, look, congratulations to everybody who's put an entry in already. Uh, but that's Peter Cristani from Frog Recruitment, who's behind the Top Office Dog Competition. If you'd like to enter your own four-legged friend, you can head to nztopdog.co.nz for a chance to win the coveted Top Dog Trophy and prize pack as well. <laughs> awesome. 